Welcome to the Purdue University Research Repository, or PUR. You can access PUR on the web at purr.purdue.edu. PUR is a web-based platform that researchers can use to share data and collaborate on research online. PUR can be used in four main ways. To create a data management plan for a grant proposal, to collaborate with other researchers, to publish research data, and to archive data sets in a secure, trustworthy digital repository. This video tutorial will guide you through the steps that are necessary to use PER in these four ways. In particular, we'll demonstrate how to use PER to create a collaborative project space and to publish research data sets with digital object identifiers. Any Purdue faculty member, graduate student, or staff can use PER to create a project. Visit per.purdue.edu and log in using your Purdue Career account and password. If you're a first-time user, you'll be required to confirm your Purdue Career account details. Welcome to your user dashboard. Your user dashboard is your starting point for creating projects, dataset publications, and interacting with other researchers. Let's create a new project. First, you must provide some information about your project. This includes creating a meaningful title and building a short project URL using only lowercase letters and numbers. You also have the option to add descriptive information and to upload an image to differentiate this project from other projects you may have. Then you can select whether the project is private or public. Next, you can invite collaborators from Purdue or from other institutions by inputting their email addresses. Your invited collaborators will receive an email with a link for them to click and log in and access your project space. If you have a verifiable external grant, enter the title of the grant, its principal investigator, funding agency, and total award budget to ensure that you receive an increase in both your project and publication storage. By registering a grant with your project space, you're upgraded from 500 megabytes to 100 gigabytes, and your publication allocation is increased from 50 megabytes to 10 gigabytes. Will you be working with any sensitive or restricted data? Please be sure to review the section carefully and note that PER cannot be used for government-restricted, export-controlled, proprietary, or HIPAA-protected data. Lastly, agree to PER's privacy terms to continue. Welcome to your new project space. PER was built using the HubZero platform for scientific collaboration, which includes a powerful set of tools for sharing data and facilitating online research collaboration. For example, you can use your new project to upload and share data files with version control and social network style communication and project management features. Now you've uploaded your files and you're ready to publish a dataset. PERS Dataset Publication Workflow allows you to select the files you want and provide descriptive metadata that will comprise your dataset publication. First, select your primary files to include in your dataset. These primary files can be selected from the Files section in your project space, or they can be uploaded directly during this step. You also have the option to include additional files as supporting materials. Next, we'll want to provide some information about your dataset publication. Enter a title, a brief synopsis, and an abstract. During this step, you're able to assign authors from your current project team or add new authors directly. You can also change the order of the authors. Next, you can add an optional gallery image. You can also add a subject tag. There's a list of available tags that will auto-complete as you begin to type them in, or you can add your own unique tag. Next, select a license agreement that spells out the terms for people who download and reuse your data. Last but not least, add any notes to add further description to your data set. Now that you've described your data publication, you can proceed by choosing one of four options. Option number one is to review and submit your data set to be published with the Data Site Digital Object Identifier, or DOI. Option number two is a dark archive, in which case your dataset will get a DOI and be archived in a place where only you can access it. Number three is preview. You can review and draft, which will put a hold on the publication 
and allow you and your collaborators within your project space to view it and make any necessary revisions before it's published. Lastly, you can cancel and delete the draft. Let's click Review and Submit to be Published to publish our data set. Review your draft to make sure that it is complete and then agree to the per terms of deposit. Finally, submit the draft to be published. Your data set has now been submitted for publication. If there are no problems with it, it will be posted online within two business days. Now let's take a look at your data set publication. Purdue is one of only three data site agencies in the United States who can issue DOIs for data sets. A Digital Object Identifier, or DOI, is a globally unique and resolvable identifier for your data set that makes it easy for people to cite your data and give you credit when they reuse it. PER emails a report every month to users to show them how many times their data sets have been accessed. Many researchers find that publishing their data sets increases the number of citations to their published work and improves the impact of their research. Your published data sets will be securely and reliably preserved in PER for a minimum of 10 years, after which time they will be supported and managed as a part of the university's library collections. In this video tutorial, we have outlined the steps that you need to take to create a collaborative project space in PER and to submit a data set to be published with a digital object identifier. Since its launch, PER has been included in the data management plans of over 700 grant proposals. If you have questions about PER or research data management services, please visit the PER website at purr.purdue.edu or contact us by email or telephone. PER is a University Research Corps facility that has been made possible through a collaboration of the Office of the Vice President for Research, Information Technology at Purdue, and the Purdue University Libraries.